One of the causes of uh, homelessness in America is poverty. And tonight, we have the privilege of talking to Ron and his wife. These guys have been doing a tremendous work here in Atlanta, Georgia, helping the homeless people. Ron and Patsy, welcome to the McDonald's Show. Thank you for having us, McDonald. How did you start up this great work of helping the homeless people? Yes. Um, I think that uh, what we try to do is, we're called Night of Hope, N-I-T-E of Hope. Uh, we are zeroed in on bringing the love of Jesus to people. Uh, we, four years ago, we, uh, we had a big uh, Thanksgiving dinner uh, at the World Congress Center. We had over 2,000 people, all homeless families, that came together in the same ballroom that President Bush had his uh, fundraiser. Uh, and what we try to do is we, obviously we don't have the budget to do that now, but even now we go to a woman's and uh, children's shelter every Sunday and we bring them dinner and we, we, we preach the word of God to them. And these are wonderful people that we, we try to give them, when we come we say this food's not from Ron and Patsy, this food is from the Lord, Jesus. And I think that that's important that they know that they're not forgotten. And that's one thing we try to do. That's where we fill the gap, is letting them know that God, Jesus is alive and well, and he does care about us. And he does, and he wants you to know that. Night of Hope, it's like, it was founded in 2001. Is uh, it 2000? Well, yeah, well, that's when we, that's when we, uh, yes, that's really about probably the mid-90s is when we, we started with sandwiches and stuff. But yeah, things really got started in, in 2001, yes. 2001, and uh, I believe uh, during that period you had to feed about 200 people, and then every year the figures started yes, changing. Yes, How do you really manage, you know, helping these uh, homeless? Is it is there a particular area you go to or a place in Georgia? Yes, well, uh, in, the early, in the early 2000s, we went to the Pine Street uh, uh, downtown Atlanta was pretty much mostly a men's shelter and we were there for I don't know maybe four or five years going on Wednesday nights and that's really where we got the idea of having a Thanksgiving dinner a first-class dinner uh, with china and plates and crystal glass uh, to really make them feel how important they are yeah, not just to the society but to, to our God Jesus. Ron, uh, most of these homeless people we see around, do they need to, do they even think sometimes they'll have a life where they can have, they can go back to, the, to, to their permanent homes? Or how do you look at them? Do they stay there for many years? How do you work with them? Do you I, find like, you know, shelter for them? Yeah. Or you see them getting some kind of education? Uh, it's interesting you say that because I think a lot of people in our country are a paycheck away from being homeless. Um, you have uh, unfortunately, you have uh, mentally ill people that uh, stay at, at these shelters. Uh, you have a lot of drug addiction. You have people that are, um, you know, down on their luck. They lost their job. You have a lot of different varieties of people there. But, but one, one thing they have in common is that when you go to a shelter, you lose that. You lose your dignity. You lose your self-esteem. And we, we feel like if they're going to get out of there, they're going to need to raise their self-esteem. And that's what we try to do, you know, by bringing them dinner, by bringing them love, and just letting them know we care about them, that the Lord cares about them. And I think that a lot of them do get out. A lot of them uh, do regain uh, uh, homes and apartments. And, uh, you know, some of them never get out. Uh, unfortunately, you know, back in the mid-'80s, uh, uh, the government cut out a lot of the uh, mentally ill um, um, facilities. So you have a lot of mentally ill people, you know, in society that are homeless and they go to these shelters. And I think we need, as a society, we need to take care of these people. And I don't think we're doing a very good job at that. <laughs> when you say we are not doing a good job, what are your intentions? Do you have better solutions to that? Yeah, I think, yeah, I do. And I'll tell you what my solutions. You take the government out of it and you put the church, okay, you put people, all the churches get together and, and provide uh, love and service for these people. You can't pay somebody to care, McDonald. They either care or they don't. And you're not going to get a government worker 
uh, that's paid for a job to go in there and do the job. You need people like you and me who love the Lord, who want to serve the Lord, okay, that have a purpose in life to be able to go there and to bring the Word of God to them and let them know that they're cared about. That is the way out. There's no other way out but that way, and you're not going to get that through government agencies, only through the private sector, I believe. Now, if you cut the government off, if you were to cut the government off, how do you really work with, that, with the other churches? If you started talking to the churches or, or any other organizations to, you know, to make sure that you deal with these homeless people, because you say when the government is involved, those people are still be homeless. Yeah, well, you know, the reason I say that, there's uh, so much uh, red tape in the government. And, and to be fair to our government, okay, you know, they have this mentality of one shoe fits all. And all people have different needs. But because it's the government run, and because there is abuse, okay, and people take advantage, they set up rules that sometimes people slip through the cracks. And, and, and people don't really get what they really need. But when you have a one-on-one -on -one situation where you bring a church in and say, okay, this church is going to be responsible uh, for this area or for these amount of people, you know, we do a great job in, uh, in going to our churches and, and praising God and, and glorifying them. But one way you can really praise them is by bringing other people to them. And uh, I think we as, as a nation and as a Christianity, is we need to get more involved. And I think that's why Patsy and I do it. And I got to tell you, we are blessed. And I, I'm not talking financially. Uh, I, we are blessed as, as knowing that we are doing God's work. Um, and I think that uh, if you truly, in my humble opinion, if you truly want to find your purpose, um, this is a great area where we have a real shortage of people uh, you know, doing this work. Do you have any other projects coming up for these homeless people in the near future, or apart from uh, going to the shelters every week? We had a Thanksgiving dinner at our church, and then uh, last Christmas, uh, we took all the women and children to Magianos. If, any, if somebody else out there is listening to what you're saying, of course, for you to provide food during the, you know, on weekend, you need money. Yeah. Where but, does somebody send that money to? Oh, if they need to bring any food for the homeless, what should they, what should they well, do? Well, we have a website. It's called uh, Night of Hope, N-I-T-E okay. of Hope dot org. Uh, they can read all about us, and uh, uh, they can contact us. And uh, we would be more than willing to have them come out and help us, or if they'd love to bring food, uh, we, would, we would definitely encourage that. Any other plans apart from doing what you're doing? Hmm, good question. I think that God's got big plans for us. I, I do. I truly believe that. I think that God's going to, um, he's got something really great for me to do. And I can't wait to, to serve him and do that for him. Can you reveal it? Any plan you have? I, I, I don't know. I, I, know, I, know, I know this. I, I know. And this, to you, this will not sound crazy. Someday I will lay my life down for the Lord, my human life. I believe that. I believe that uh, our nation's in trouble. And it's going to come down to you either going to deny being a Christian or you're going to say you're going to be a Christian. And I think it's going to really go back to the Roman Empire. I, I, I hope I'm wrong, okay, but I, I see, um, I just can't believe what I see uh, in our world today. Uh, and it can change. But if we leave God, if this nation turns its back on God, have mercy on our souls because it will not be the America that once was. Ron, it was nice having you at the God bless show. you, sir. Thank you, Patsy. Thank, Thank you very much for coming. It was yeah. good to have you on the show. You're Thank welcome. Thank you.